It is 3.59 in the morning and I had the crazy idea of going to Dublin Horse Show for the day. And so that is exactly what we're doing. Flying out to Dublin for the day, going to the horse show and fly back this evening. Just about to get on the aeroplane. Today we have bought Becky. We've also got Sarah who's never, have you appeared in a vlog? I don't think you have. But I watch all of them. Yeah, she, she lies. She has about attention span for five minutes. Anyway, obviously last time Becky got on an aeroplane. It was terrifying. Yeah, terrifying. But we got I'm quietly terrified at the minute. But so we've just arrived at Dublin Hall Show. It's a very impressive building from the outside, but it's an incredible place on the inside if you've never been before. And pretty cool. So when you first come in, you just come into the great library here and it's full of like Irish sculptures and pottery and cool stuff. Anyway, we'll carry all through. So yeah, you come into this big building. It's got a uh, straight jumping on the big screen. I think this is the Young Event Horse. So you come out of the building and then you come into this central area, which is normally a road and takes you to the main ring here. So this is often where they have the working hunters, but it's a hell of a show. This is not even like a quarter of it. And the main arena is just behind. So there we go, we've got the showing. I think this is lightweight hunters. We've got stands that have been set up. And yeah. Then you've got another ring you can see down. This is ring two. Most of these will be four or five, usually got end up on the market. So unlike British Horse, they always have their number on the rail band. Ground's a bit moist, the weather is not supposed to be brilliant today, but we've got seating under the stands for the show jumping and the young event horse. But yes, yeah, so you can see Louis Roderer. So this is where all the stables are, they've got big old sheds of them. All the Irish draft stallions, because it's the Irish draft stallion parade today, are held here. So you are literally in the centre of Dublin. You've got financial offices and we're just going to the second arena. So you've got the main arena which we just got, we'll show you in a bit. But yeah, you walk down the road. These offices aren't very busy today. Just see the main arena which is behind and then this is Simmons Court Arena so at the moment they've got the 14-2 ponies. I don't think they're very old. Yeah, this is the pony jumping. So this would be 110, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thought maybe it would be 110. Cool, that's got some ping, isn't it? So they have the next one in, in the ring waiting to go, so you get a little bit of familiarisation with them. Sarah Kirkland, the Dan O'Carnamore and the Dan Sarah Womanizer, they qualified at Scar Team and Courtney, our French rider, Courtney Gautier, and a score of 29.3. Yes, sports field, and Kieran, 
yes, Adam, for Karana. They got to the court of the rear. He saw the real nasty horse he is too. And the woman, the woman is a pretty quick seller. I've seen it take that cool idea. Well, he hops the woman and I just brain horses too. And then he's going to be horses. And this horse is brain and then slipped about in this thing. Now, to the brush. You take home and a beautiful horse, beautiful quality horse. And we still we took over six. So I feel too much. So I think it's probably quite important to say that these are the top of the top four year olds in the country here in Ireland. These are just average four year olds. Because obviously this is not taken, they've got to be up to level. But the good four year olds find it easy because they still escape. They tend to be produced by professionals. So they don't do, you think you might have to do a lot to get them here, but the good ones you don't have to do very much because they're easy to get enough for them. The winners of these cars tend to go for big money and get sold. to go and be a ridden horse as well. 
do hunting on the weekends. Some good old feet on them. <laughs>
out there sometimes in the thoroughbreds, which don't often look as quite as good at five. They take a bit longer. They keep chugging up the levels. Whereas these are like they're going to go out and win at two star. You can see the difference between these and the four year olds. These are not confident what they're doing. It's very interesting compared to the UK. Obviously, I watch a bit of showing in the UK, try not to watch too much. But the Irish horses are a lot leaner. Even the Irish grass, you know, which are quite chunky. One or two that look a bit heavier, but on the whole, they're much leaner and they look a lot better for it. It's a shame they can't carry on to the UK showing scene as there's ponies that you would have seen. None of them would particularly carry huge amounts of weight. So today we've got a speed derby and a 160 class. So a lot of them are coming out. So over there we have Joe Stockfell and Ben Mayer just casually wandering around. Harry Schmorders, McLean Ward, all out here. So a lot of them will come out, exercise their horses, and then put them away later. Sure so we've got the speed derby today, which I will video. And then we've got this 160 class. So that's Joe on the speed derby horse, which is at 145. Yeah. 11, 12, so a meter 45, should I say. In the background, we've got some kids on ponies, which are the 12-2s. And some more exercising going on in the background. So a lot of top riders here, some from Nations Cup. That's McLean Ward.
just sat with Becky. Got a pint of cider. It's uh, all the big lorries are behind us. We've got uh, pretty much all the top riders. Uh, it's pretty mental here. It's a big party atmosphere. The uh, bar is behind us as well. Just watch the 128 jump. Uh, some of those ponies are worth 100 grand, which is bonkers. The money is huge on horses. Just been chatting with a producer who produces an awful lot of uh, very good horses, very well known in Ireland. And he's saying that it's a tough market now because the money wanted on horses. So yeah, I thought it was all quite interesting. Uh, 3, 3.30 I think it is, we've got the big 160 class. But um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool show. Uh, I'm not doing any shopping, which is good. I did try on some riding hats. Um, possibly to look for a blingier one to go for the dressage next week. But no, nah, I've not really found anything I like. So probably saved my money, um, spent enough. Anyway, found a baseball cap for later. And uh, yeah, anyway, hope you're enjoying all the footage. So don't really even see the shape of them, they've just had the edge of the cup, so then the horse comes along and tips it, and they'll know about it. Well, it's got 10 minutes, 10 minutes, like the time of the cup, 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 the cup,
Royal Dublin Horse Show. It's been a blast and very fun. But all good things must come to an end. Yeah. So you'll be pleased to note that standard operating procedure is in place. Well, don't you look brilliant, Sarah? I've got my Dublin hat. I look pretty cool. What do you look like drinking your fruit shoot? So, to be honest, we haven't really seen very much of Sarah today because you just go off and chat to people, don't you? Sometimes you know them, sometimes you don't know them. I knew all of them, bar one. Bar two. One. Right, okay. So, yeah, so that's our day. I have to say, I've had a very good day. Excellent day. Uh, to be sure, it's been grand. Just for reference, Sarah is a BE coach and a very official person with BHSI as well. But today, you would never know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm resting my neck. You're resting your neck, that's it. <laughs> no, Brilliant. And Grace? How was your day, Grace? Oh, it's great. Absolutely great. So, so Grace had a... I was very taste. proud of this. I've got a lovely. I won't So, Grace, let's see your, your hard work. I got Laura Collett, Ben Mayer, and Jamie Hall McAteer. I had to chase him to get that because uh, he ran away. So, I chased him. So, not fast enough. Not fast enough. I am pretty fast. <laughs> and she was quite nice. She had a nice little She, start. the cat's mother. She. Then, Jodie was lovely as well. But, um, there we go, Becky. There we go, Becky. We scared them away. Now come and sit with us if you want. It's okay. Becky and chilling in her sunglasses. It's Becky interview time. Sorry, Grace. We were listening to your very interesting story. It's done now. Oh, right. So you basically chased after people. No, I only chased after one. and that's because absolutely have an epic... He walked away from me and he's a very fast walker, so I had to chase him. Two gold medalists. And then... My favourite show jumper. Had a complete fail on Joe Stockdale. I gave up on that. Gave up, yeah. After I um, tried to, well, he went into the cool out, like the cool down place, and then he disappeared. Yeah. And I couldn't find him, so I gave up on that one. Pretty good though, you're quite confident going to get those. Yeah, the first one was the hardest, I think I could tell it. Yeah. And then my hand was like that. The whole so, time. did you enjoy, <laughs> have you enjoyed your day? Oh, very much so. Half of it has been spent stalking people, but. Yeah, it's been quite fun. Or, or not understand, to be honest. Yeah. Or not understand Irish people. To be fair, Grace's favourite word is what? <laughs> Literally is, isn't it? Yeah, because we already have hearing issues. Yeah. So, like, words are really such a sort of English, let alone. Uh, Becky, finally, Becky finally got you to Ireland. You've done another flight. And this flight might be cancelled anyway, so she might be okay. Yeah, but to be fair, it's not quite as funny as your flight out when you were literally crapping yourself. So the first time to Ireland. I told the passenger next to me I behaved myself. She was still to it. I promise I'll behave myself. I'm really nervous. Well, I told the passenger next to me that I might dribble down them and push me back up. And then she said that she Lovely. You're that passenger everyone like doesn't want to be near. <laughs> I'd, have moved, to I'd have asked to move seats. <laughs> so we're knackered. We've been on the go since what? Quarter, I've been on the go since quarter to three. Quarter and past two. Quarter past two for Sarah. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, so we are done and dusted here in Dublin and uh, you enjoy the vlog. And I could... We've done it in a day, totally recommend it. The whole thing has cost me a lot of money because I paid for all these guys because I owe them. But normally, the flight was 30 quid, the tickets, we got fairly good tickets, were 40 euro. So not bad for a whole big day's outing and cheaper than places like Badminton and cheaper than places like oh, Hickston and stuff like that. So thoroughly recommend it. If you can do it in a day, come and do it. Not able to compete here last year, so 